Hi, and welcome back to Now TV, um, aka Superwoman's channel. Hmm, off, um, out of character. Not just me being myself, but her creator. Anyways, um, so this video is, you know, not for the crazy, like, you know, earlier videos. I'm gonna show an update of, um, Panda Collectomy. How I look now, physically, um, I don't keep track of dates like other people that are like, you know, weight loss, surgery, fanatics and stuff, I'm like weird, no, just go on with your life after you have it and whatever, anyways, I should have had the surgery that I'm trying to get before I had the panicolectomy, but I didn't know what I know now, and the doctors didn't, um, stop the approval for this surgery and say, oh no, no, you're too overweight, you can't have this surgery now, you have to wait, you have to have the other one. I think they're trying to be a greedy and push uh, both surgeries through for approval by having this one done first without me knowing what they knew in the back of their heads. But I didn't. If I'd known, I probably would have waited until I had had the bariatric surgery because I might not have had to have the penicillectomy at all. So I would have, you know, normal range of what you call the um, love handle after having lost all the weight. No, I won't have any when it's gone. But, um, yeah, it's not for the, uh, you know, light of stomach. It's so horrible when you put your whole life on camera like this for people to see, but, you know, it's an experience. It's, like, it's reality. It happens, and this is how it's going to look. And um, I don't know. The uh, the one-year anniversary of it, I wouldn't call it anniversary, but anyways, uh, it's going to be, like, July or something? But, um, yeah. Here we go. See that? Right. I feel like um, a rapper. My waistline. I can't put the pants up. That's where it's supposed to go. So, you know, you know that overweight security guard thing, pants and shirt tucked in there? Yeah, I kind of look perfect for that. It's not funny. I didn't know. <laughs> all cut up. All the way around. Yeah, I don't know how long the doctor thought I was going to be able to live like this. I hold my pants up to walk down the street. <laughs> like, I hold them up. <coughs> it's crazy. It's ridiculous. That's it. Nothing you can do about that. I have to have the other surgery. Um, so I can have a flat stomach again. Now the scar can reduce even more with light laser treatment down the road. But because they did this wrong, I might have to be cut up again even after the bariatric surgery when my stomach's removed. Because what you're seeing here. just wants food. It's all stomach. It literally is how large the pouch grows with people who have oh, um, weight issues through the years. I've been skinny and obese and skinny and obese and skinny and obese and now I have heart problems. My chest hurts. My lungs hurt. And my asthma is bugging me. I feel like I have cancer. Like when I'm sick, it's, it's bad. I can't breathe properly in my nose. I wake up gasping from the apnea because my body can't handle it. My lower back my my swelling in joints, my my bones hurt. I, I'm dying, and I feel it. But I'm only 37. But if you saw what I looked like um, two summers ago, I was a Playboy centerfold. Now I'm I've aged. I'm like five years older, just off of one baby and and two years of gaining all this weight that I have no control and can't get to stop. <coughs> so I have to have this other surgery now in order to have my life back. People sitting back and watching me eat all this time, it's not funny. Their, their, their better deal would have been to help. How much do you need? What do I have to purchase? Go have your surgery. Get your life back. 
How do I play my characters, myself, when I'm 307 pounds? I don't fit anything. This is big. It's a big chest. I have to special custom make my shirts. Well, what everybody calls top heavy. Now, on the camera makes it look even worse than in person. It's not as bad, but it's bad. Enough. Because I'm five foot seven and I swim, so I'm athletic, I'm strong, but... You know, I, I, I should be going out for She-Hulk. Rawr! <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's kind of vital. I like to be able to wear tight jeans again. And miniskirts. It's absurd. And any thought of children anytime soon is out of the question. Not till after I've had recovery from the surgery. I'm working on um, a possible option for going to Mexico where the doctors are cheaper. I'm waiting to hear back from somebody who's looking into um, what she can do to help move along the sales of my, my t-shirts that are coming. Um, and other stuff that I've already got here. I tried to go to Global, but I'm not famous enough yet. By the time I am famous enough, I may not need to go to Global, except to advertise what I will have up and available for people. <sighs> it's weird. Um, news. They make or break a person, right? I might be able to go to CTV after the shirt shows up. I just can't go to Global. CTV, on the other hand, may, may be, make a difference. I was trying to find a doctor that would do the procedure for free, because there's tons of them that can. The surgeries have been out there for 20 years. And now, it should be common to all the hospitals. Instead of making people pay, oh, we won't do it if they're not getting paid for it. They're greedy. When you go to an emergency room and say, I'm having gastric chest pains, please give me your own why it's an emergency, and it happens to be, they should be giving a person that surgery. These surgeries in Mexico, these doctors have got it down to an hour. They've got it down to an art. Every other doctor I've looked into does them in two and a half hours. <laughs> an hour. I'll go to Mexico for an hour surgery, and then I'm out two days later, and I go on with my life. And you recover, and eventually you eat three meals a day like everybody else. With a sleeve gastrectomy, you recover quicker because you eat more food. Quicker. Because you have an eight-ounce stomach, which is the size of a large banana. Trust me, when you break all that up and you put it in a tube, eight ounces is a lot of food. It's still like an eight-inch sandwich, or foot-long eating slow. That's fine to me, because at least when I'm done, I'm full. And I'm not going to keep holding all the fat stored in my body. My sugars aren't going to go wonky. My hormones are going to be out of whack, because my stomach is wanting to hold 40 pounds of food <laughs> instead of one sandwich. And I'm not going to sit and eat a kitchen table full of food to show people how much uh, food a person my size can eat. That's just rude. You know, that's not what I'm shooting for here. I want to make all my Superwoman stuff... To fit large people, I'm going to totally snub the small, normal-sized person. Forget it. I'm not here to buy, sell my stuff to you. Because you people don't know what it's like to be on this side of the scale. You don't know what it means to suffer this way. So, forget it. <laughs> my clothes are going to be for everybody that's big. Oh, well, sorry, we don't have your size. you have to go get it custom-made. But you better ask me first before you use my symbol. This is my copyright, right? Anyways. Anyways, I'm just saying, that's what it is. But um, I do plan to get back down to, uh, like, I guess whatever, it'll be 170, 180 after the surgery. <sighs> I should have already had it and been recovered from it. But the bureaucracy, the red tape. I don't sleep well. Like, I'm sick. <sighs> My hair's going gray. I can't walk up and down the street, in my uniform especially. I have to drive up to the nearest bus stop, park my van, get on the bus, holding up my uniform pants. That's not funny. Okay, it might look funny, but it's not funny. I, you're lucky I just have a good sense of humor about it. Anyways, ten minutes are up. Bariatric surgery, hopefully soon. Peace out, Superwoman.